and good morning and thank you very much so back these are my disclosure and um, background we know that we all know that lots of patients with Crohn's disease will require surgery in their lifetime and then uh, up to 30 percent of this patient will require re repeated surgery due to recurrences and this despite novel biological therapies so the question is if uh, we have surgery can do something maybe to have an impact on the, the natural history of this disease and so far uh, no anastomotic configuration after alcoholic resection has demonstrated to, to be really useful to decrease the risk of uh, uh, clinical and surgical recurrences and uh, in 2011, uh, Professor Kono from Japan has described a new anastomotic configuration, which is supposed to reduce both uh, endoscopic and surgical recurrences at long-term follow-up, follow -up, and this independently from uh, biological therapy. But uh, th this experience has been also uh, confirmed by larger multicenter series, also including uh, institutions from USA. But all these data are uh, retrospective and not randomized. So these are the technical steps of Conoes anastomosis. Basically, you have to cut both the allium and the colonic cage with a linear stapler in order that the mesentery needs to be located at the center of the stump of the staple line. Then the two staple lines are simply reapproximated together with some interrupted suture. And then two and longitudinal uh, enterotomies at the anti-mesenteric side of both ileum and colon are performed, seven, eight, seven to eight centimeter long, and then they are reanastomosed in a transverse fission as a kind of stricheoplasty. And so the mechanism of action of this kind of anastomosis to prevent recurrence are the following. Uh, first of all, the um, mesentery, the, the, the bowel needs to be cut along the bowel wall so in order to prevent any kind of devascularization and denervation. Then you create a very large lumen anastomosis because, uh, as we have said, it's created as a kind of stricheoplasty with the uh, transverse incision uh, and uh, uh, with the transverse, with the longitudinal incision and transverse uh, and transverse uh, anastomosis so it's very large the other thing is that you have the two staple line on the back of the anastomosis that create a kind of a supporting mechanical support in order to prevent distortion in case of uh, recurrences and then the most important the most interesting finding is that uh, this is a kind of anastomosis, um, anastomosis in which the mesentery is completely excluded from the lumen and we all know that uh, Crohn's disease always appears and recur at the mesenteric site of the bowel or the, of the anastomosis itself. So we had designed this randomized control trial in which we are including and enrolling all patients with primary and recurrent aleocolic Crohn's disease. And we are randomizing them in two arms. In one patients, in one arm patients are receiving this Conoes anastomosis and the other is the conventional uh, control group in which we are performing the standard staple side-to-side anti-peristaltic anti anastomosis. We got two primary endpoints which are the endoscopic recurrence rate evaluated with the Rutger score at six months and then we will uh, evaluate the surgical recurrence rate at five years and then we have some secondary endpoints obviously short-term outcomes in terms of morbidity and uh, and uh, recovery parameters and other than clinical and surgical recurrence at two years and uh, we uh, aim to enroll uh, overall an under 32 patients to have a uh, sufficient statistical powerful. And so far we are included uh, 83 patients, which are enough to address the first of the two primary endpoints, which is the endoscopic recurrence score. These are patients' characteristics, and we can see that uh, all the variables, including uh, demographics and the kind of uh, phenotype of the disease and uh, disease extension and type of surgery and preoperative therapy are basically perfectly comparable between the two groups. And these are the short-term outcomes in terms of recovery parameters. There are no differences in terms of uh, uh, time to flare to the stool and length of hospital stay. And uh, the same is true for uh, major and minor complications. As we can appreciate in the Conoes group, we've got no anastomotic fistula and no bleeding. This is the most important, most important finding. It is the endoscopic recurrence score at six months. And uh, I want to emphasize that these results have been just published on the journal Annals of Surgery just this month. It's, it's in, 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 in printing. 
And um, if we look at the uh, recurrence overall, we see that the Con OS and Osmosis perform better. So we have got 22% of recurrence uh, against 62% in the staple to staple group. And if we just look on the severe recurrence, so considering a Rutgert score over than 3, still Con OS and Osmosis perform better with 13% of severe recurrence against 35%. And this difference is significant, statistically significant. The same is true for the median Rutgert score, 0 0.92 versus 2.06. This is the pattern of clinical recurrence evaluated, evaluated both at 12 and 24 months, uh, considering as a cutoff value a CDAI score over 200. And we can see that still at 24 months, patients with conoes anastomosis has, have a significantly lower recurrence rate, 18% versus 30%. And this is the surgical recurrence at 24 months, in which we can see that we got just two surgical recurrences in side-to-side -side group and no recurrences in the con -OS group. And these are the most important results. We have performed both univariate and multivariate analysis considering all the possible factors associated with uh, endoscopic recurrences, so including uh, other than the anastomosis, the uh, sex, the uh, primary or recurrent disease, the disease, the disease phenotype, uh, the smoking habits, uh, the disease extension, and most importantly, we consider both the preoperative uh, medical strategies and the eventual postoperative uh, um, prophylactic therapy, including biologics. And we can see that uh, at multivariate analysis, the only protective factor w was find, found to be associated with uh, a protection against endoscopic recurrence is just the Cono S anastomosis. So these are my conclusion. Cono anastomosis resulted to be a safe anastomosis with a very good recovery parameter and no increase of postoperative complication. It was the only factor associated with, um, with the reduction of uh, postoperative endoscopic recurrence within one year, uh, one year after surgery. And we know that this is a very important finding because we know that the um, endoscopic recurrences between, between, uh, within one year after surgery is one of the most important pre predictive factor of long-term clinical and surgical recurrences. So we have to certainly to wait a five years long-term follow-up to definitely establish which will be the recurrence rate of this anastomosis and if the results will be the same we are finding so far, maybe this kind of anastomosis might really play a role uh, in changing the natural, in the natural history of Crohn's disease. And thank you very much for your attention.